What's up everyone, welcome to the Triple Trouble. My name is Gijs, my name is Chef, and welcome to the first day of the Technique Week. In the first video, we are going to talk about stands. So the first thing for you to know is that we aren't official trainers. What we are going to tell you is only out of our experience, so we hope that you might find it useful. Um, so keep that in mind. So the first thing to decide is the angle of your feet. You're going to decide that one by just jumping in the air and come down to the ground. The position your feet are in after jumping is the most natural way your feet are going to be in. After you've decided the angle of your feet, you want to decide if whether you have an open stance or a closed stance. Both of these options are good options, you just have to find out what's your preference. So for me, a slightly open stance works, uh, that may force me to turn my body a little bit in line um, and this uh, creates a little more tension in my core. If you have a closed stance, you will find that you have a little bit more tension in your calves and your line will be good from the beginning of the shot. So that's something you have to decide for yourself. So the next thing in your stance which is really important is the T-line. T-line like this. In the international field you will rarely see anyone shooting with his T-line banded like this or like this. It's important that you keep your feet, your hips and your shoulders at the same line. The best way to practice this is to have someone filming you or someone looking at you and correct you if you're doing something wrong. What a lot of people do is when they have, even if they have a good T-line, they lift their chest up during the draw. So what's happening is this. And with moving your chest upwards, you will lose some uh, tension in your core and you will lose stability. So next to having a good T-line, it's also important to put a little bit of tension in your abs and move your balance to your front feet. And with all that, it will create a really good, stable form. So these were the big lines of the stance in archery. If you have any specific questions, please let us know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like. Um, and if you want to see more of this, subscribe. So see you tomorrow at the next episode of the Technique Week. Tomorrow we will be talking about... We are going to talk about the pre-shot and your focus. See ya!